Hey everyone, it's Bryce with Hangier.com and Seven Sons Farms and today I'd like to share with you how we go about collecting eggs on our operation here. We got about 10,000 laying hens out on pasture that are moved every single day. So we've been doing this for many years now. We've we figured out a lot of uh, inefficient ways to collect eggs and we've figured out some, some things that have helped speed things up for us and I'm hoping to share with you some of those tips and uh, uh, things that we've learned. I'm not saying we collect eggs the right way. As a matter of fact, by the time you're done watching this video, if you have some ideas for us, please uh, either send us an email or post that in the comments section below. But we'll go right over here and we'll go ahead and get started and show you how we go about this. Okay, so when we first started, we were using those wired uh, egg, egg baskets uh, and we were just really struggling with a lot of eggs just breaking on us, especially in transportation on back to the, uh, from the field here on back to the main farm where the eggs get processed. Uh, so it wasn't long after that we switched to five gallon buckets, still having the same issue. So these here, hey, how are we doing there? <laughs> so these uh, 30 egg, uh, egg tray flats were a lifesaver for us when we switched to these. We, uh, we only stacked the eggs up a total of six high, which is 15 dozen. Okay, so when it actually comes to uh, collecting the eggs, we use these, uh, these plastic milk crates. Uh, they are, they are roughly, I think they're 18 inches long, 12 inches wide, and uh, 10 inches tall. And that actually works out perfect for us. Um, so before we head on in, we will grab a total of seven flats um, again we stack them up six high but then we use the uh, top flat there's a couple reasons why we put an empty empty one on top uh, one is the birds will jump up on here and they'll want to knock eggs off the other reason is we actually double stack this trailer there's actually another layer underneath that sheet of steel there's another layer of uh of eggs that's actually flock that's the blue flock so if we're color coordinated per flock we have three flocks we got green and the red one and the blue one so the blue one's underneath here so having that empty one on top uh obviously protects the eggs and allows us to to double stack both the truck and the trailer if we need to so we uh typically collect eggs at about 1 to 2 p.m in the afternoon and we usually like to have for 10,000 laying hens Ideally, you want to have a, a minimum crew of three people. Uh, it works out really well. But the, the first person to walk into the building, his job is to go through and remove all hens from the nesting boxes because we don't want them sleeping in the box overnight, making a mess of it. So remove hens, and then they'll lift up, which has already been done here. I left this last one here. But simply walk up to the box, lift up the roost bar, and latch it here with our actuator so that'll automatically, in the morning, open up. And that roost bar will drop down so the birds can get on in and start laying. So we'll just take our milk crate here and set it, set it on top of the collection tray here. Like uh, the collection trays can handle a lot of weight. So some of the guys actually would like to stack, stack up about 12 high. Um, so they'll go ahead and stack about 12 high, and then they'll split it when they get back to the trailer. And the, one of the main reasons you want to have a wider, uh, a wider crate is so you can put your extra, uh, your extra empty flats here on the side. Another tip is. As you can see with these flats, there is a uh, smooth side, and then there is a side that you're supposed to pick them up from, which has these two little uh, handles. And by the way, I will put a link in the uh, description to where we get our flats from, and including our milk crates as well, which I believe is from Uline. But uh, so yeah, we have our flat, our first flat in here. Hey pup, how we doing? You guys are in training still, aren't you? So when you're collecting eggs, we like to pick up at least two to three at the uh, in one hand and uh we find the eggs will stack a lot nicer if you put the point there's a blunt end and a pointy end to every egg and ideally you want to try as quickly as possible find that pointy end just put the pointy end down and then as we get through the nesting box we will just keep sliding our crate down and we'll just keep moving down the line here all right so we just finished this nest box we're good to move on to the next one we'll just keep sliding our crate down and we'll open up the next tray here. All right, so when you grab the next flat, you have to crisscross each one. So see how we have the, the, the straight side there? The next layer, we're gonna have the handle on that. So you have to alternate them uh, each time. Another tip that really helps us out is if, if, you, if you ever come across a bigger egg, like this one here, it, it will not stack uh, as nice as the other ones here. So we'll actually, so one of the reasons why we have our seventh flat with us, which, which will go on top of this once it's finished, but we'll also put our bigger eggs 
on this one. And so again, it'll stack a lot nicer. And we'll just keep moving that flat along with us as we go. Just finishing up our first stack here. Okay, so we have 15 dozen here. We're gonna put our extra flat on top with our bigger egg. And then we will go ahead and uh, close this for now. And we'll take this out to the truck, unload it, refill, and come back in. All right, so when we get back to the truck and trailer, we'll go ahead and take our bigger eggs and we'll offload them onto the other ones. And we'll, again, I mentioned you have the flat side, the straight edge, and then you have the two handle sides of the flats. So that's where you wanna pick up. All right, now that I got my crate empty here, I'll take it over to the truck. And we'll grab another seven flats here. And head back on inside and keep collecting. Another tip I like to share with you though, is that we will collect all of our floor eggs. There's always gonna be a small percentage of floor eggs that are laid out on pasture. We'll collect those separately because usually they're a little dirtier and we wanna spend more time washing those eggs so they're clean for our customer. So once we're done collecting eggs, we'll take the truck and trailer and head back to the main farm unload all the eggs onto a pallet and we'll take that pallet into our egg cooler and then we'll pull it out later on in the week uh, to wash them which i'll shoot i'll shoot a video later on showing you how we go about that process and yeah i just really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video if you have any questions or if you'd like to learn more about any of the products we offer like our coops or our nesting boxes please visit hengear.com if you'd like to learn more about our farm please visit sevensons.net. Till next time.